You looking at dressing your bike up, blacking it out, maybe like I've done with my road glide here? Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Arlen Ness Sculpted versus the Harley Davidson Edge Cut and see which one you should use. Hey YouTube, it's Josh with Chase the Ride. So, you might notice something a little bit different about the old road glide here. She has the stock levers back on her. Why? Well, a few reasons why. First of all, we had on there is the Arlen Ness shaved levers. The issue was multiple fold with these. First of all, if you take a close look, that black has almost turned to a, a green. Psychedelic lime green which I didn't really care for. The other thing is, is these levers are wearing the gloves, putting holes in the gloves over time. And worse yet, the clutch. Let's take a look at both of these together. So looking at our clutch levers here, our Arlen Ness handle is a billet aluminum handle. And you'll see down in there, that billet aluminum from the plunger on the clutch handle is wearing a little. It's getting a very significant click out of that handle. Wearing not only on the handle, but over time going to definitely be wearing on my uh, cylinder for the clutch. If we look at the Harley handle here, you'll see there's a separate little cup. Make a nylon cup that actually the clutch cylinder rides on. So we're going to actually put these handles here, the edge cut handles, on the bike to get it back to black. Okay, so tucked up underneath here, should be a little snap ring. I have a little C-clip holding mine in. My snap ring broke with the first set, and the other one flew away like that one did. So it's literally popping that ring out, and then we'll go up top here. And get that handle off lever off all right and once we have that done it's a simple push up of the pin slide out and your lever will come right out the harley handles also come with all new hardware basically a little tiny snap ring and then a new pin also before we put those in now pull out our harley lube Get a little down in the cup here, make sure it lubed up well. Down in there. Also lube up this pin. Started using the Harley lube. Past, I used a product called Inox. I'll actually have links to both of them below. Um, I think the Harley Lube has a little bit thicker consistency than the Inox. Another thing we want to make sure we do is there's a pin down in here that runs our master cylinder. Before we do anything, we need to line that cup up with the pin. Just a slight push. Push that pin in, we shove functional clutch again. Grab a pair of snap ring well, Front brake side, a little more work. We have to get that front brake master cylinder off. I'm going to do cover up on the bike here. Just make sure we don't drop anything on it. Or if we do drop anything on it, then scratch it. And then we need to pull off our master cylinder. We're going to undo these two bolts. And then we'll be doing the exact same thing with the handle, so. Sounds like a storm moving out there. This actually give us a good look at the pin that I was talking about. Like I said, I have a C-clip on there right now. 
Let's go ahead and get this guy off and get the other handle on. Wind up, should wind the cylinder, pop the pin in. And make sure we secure with our snap ring. Putting this back on, it does one little trick, slide into throttle assembly there a little bit Voila, new controls. So quick install, getting our girl back to black. Don't mind the look of those. I think I like the look of the, on the nest a little bit better, but you know what? You have to be functional also. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoy content like this and riding, Click that subscribe button. We get a video out to you every week. And until next time, keep the shiny set up and chase the ride.